What was once not a very exciting product to talk about, today we're going to be checking out probably one of the best travel tripods out there, right after this. Hey what's up guys, this is Jin from Oribags and on this channel we are all about coming up with product videos and tips to help you carry better. So if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe to us and don't forget to hit that bell button too. So on today's episode, we've got a very exciting product to show you guys. It's the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now, when I first got this product from Peak Design, I was thinking, how special could this product be? La? I mean, it is a tripod after all, and you know, tripod's a tripod. But after studying it and unboxing it, man, I just couldn't wait to get this video done and show you guys what this product is all about. So I'm gonna be as detailed as possible. I'll go through all the features and some of the things that I actually struggled with at first. And I'm also gonna show you ways on how I actually overcome them. Right, so let's check out the box. Now this is what the product looks like in its complete packaging. And can I just say what a packaging this is? <laughs> I really like it, it's so cool. And um, you know what, I love the monochrome feel of it, the spot UV print of the um, Peak Design logo very here, it's very subtle. And over on the sides over here, you'll find prints, uh, basically overviews of the product, the height, the weight, and which all of these things I will talk about a little bit later in the video. So right now, I'm just gonna introduce to you um, just some of the uh, basic things first. So let's unbox this right now. So this is it, all right. So the travel tripod comes with a soft protective bag like this. So let me just give you a closer look, okay. So it's got a handle right here and it's got uh, some openings here as well which I will show you what it's for a little bit later but yeah, just showing you what the uh, bag looks like. It's very well made and now one thing to note about this bag is that it is designed to house only and only this travel tripod, nothing else. It is a super snug fit. So, um, in fact, when I first uh, tried to put this tripod back in its bag after um, messing around with it, I actually had some trouble putting it back. So, I'm going to share with you uh, what I learned and some of the things that I did to actually make sure that I could actually fit this back into the protection bag. I'll cover all of that a little bit later, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna take the travel tripod out and I will show you this product. The travel tripod is available in two models. The first one is carbon fiber, which is the legs, basically what the legs are made of. So carbon fiber legs, uh, and another one is in aluminum alloy. So unfortunately, I don't have the model in aluminum with me right now. So today we're gonna be checking out the one in carbon fiber. So now if you take a good look at the travel tripod right here, what Peak Design has done is to really streamline the features of a traditional tripod, keeping it as sleek as possible. So it's a very streamlined design. So no nubs or knobs sticking out anywhere and uh, making this a very travel friendly tripod. So let's get to know this tripod a little bit better. Let's start from the bottom. Now here you have non-slip rubberized feet. They're very sturdy and helps to absorb vibrations. Now right above the feet you'll find the cam levers. Now these cam levers are designed in a way where it's easy for you to deploy your tripod legs all at once. So you can actually release the cam levers all in one go. After that, you have the tripod legs. Now in this case, the ones here that I'm holding right now are made from carbon fiber, and there are also five sections of leg extensions inside here. Now attached to every travel tripod, you will notice this little gadget right here. Now this is a removable accessory, and um, basically what you're looking at is the hex wrench. Okay, so now this is the hex wrench and my friends, this is something that you do not 
want to lose all right so this is a very very important thing that you need to have around with your travel tripod because this basically locks in your standard plate onto your camera it also releases some of the features um, on this travel tripod so guys remember do not lose this hex wrench and yeah it's going to be very very useful uh, to have around with you so above the legs, you'll find the leg angle adjusters. Now these adjusters will come in handy when you want to set your tripod in low mode. So this is what I mean, just to show you a quick view. Yeah, so this is how you adjust your legs to set your entire tripod on low mode, which I will show you as well towards the later part of the video. So right now, we're just gonna go ahead and introduce every part of the tripod. And right here in the middle, over here, you'll notice a center column of which you can easily adjust up and down with this center column adjusting knob right here. So all you need to do is just pull it out, give it a little twist and you can adjust your center column to whichever height that you are most comfortable with. So let's just tighten it up and if you're not you know, using it, just tuck the knob away right here. Now I want to draw your attention to the bottom of the center column right here. Now you'll notice that there is a hook over here. So this hook is really great for um, hanging your backpack or a counterweight to actually weigh down your tripod for extra stability. And then you'll also notice a square icon here. This is basically an icon of a mobile phone right at the center column. So this basically shows you that there is a mobile phone mount that's stowed away inside the center column. I'm just gonna show you how, where it is and how to get it out, all right? So now with this hook, you'll notice uh, some arrows over here on, the, on this part, on this section over here. So all you need to do is just pull down, pull down this little, what do you call this, a cap? I don't know. Just pull this section down and give it a little twist and it should pop right off. Okay, so there you have it. We've got the hook right here. So be sure that you don't lose it. <laughs> Let's just put it aside, okay? Just make sure it's safe. And um, you'll notice that there's something that actually just slide out of the center column. And this is the phone mount. So you don't have to worry about it falling out because it's actually held, oops, it's actually held on the inside with a magnet. So yeah. So you can pull it out now and this is what the phone mount looks like. Personally, I feel that this is a really great feature to have because these days you can do so much with your phones. You know, you can shoot time lapse, slow-mo, whatever it is that you plan to do uh, with your phone. Peak Design has uh, you know, gone the extra mile and provided you with a phone mount. So the next feature is this locking ring right here. Now this locking ring basically releases or secures your quick release tab over here. So the quick release tab holds your standard plate. So this is the standard plate that attaches to your camera. Okay, so now let's take a look at installing the standard plate. So I've got my Canon camera right here, standard plate here, and guys, you will need to take out your hex wrench, the one that was attached to the legs right here. Okay, so this is the one that you need to have. Um, so to attach the, to install the plate, you will need to just get the hex wrench and look for the larger side of the hex wrench and just give it a twist. Now, um, I know this feature may seem a little subjective. Some people will like it and some people may not. Um, I think basically for the reason that you are afraid that you might lose this. You know, personally, I am the only reason why I'm hesitant about this feature is because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose this very pretty, very beautiful hex wrench. So, um, yeah, that's my only reservation about this. But you know what? I'm sure the guys at Peak Design have done the uh, research, they've done extensive research uh, and come up with this final conclusion that um, securing your standard plate with the hex wrench offers a more stronger connection to your camera and the tripod. So I know we are all used to the D-ring but um, yeah, I'm sure the guys at Peak Design have done their research and this is what they've come up with. Now, if you guys have the same concern as I do about misplacing your hex wrench, 
Then you know what guys, you could always get a bunch of Allen keys. I'm sure you can get them online. Now for me, I actually found a bunch of these Allen keys lying around in my cupboard because I think some time back I bought some IKEA furniture and was installing it myself and uh, I think I kept these around so I just realized that hey, these are pretty handy now that I need to use a hex wrench. So yeah, if you have these lying around, these are so good to have. Grab a bunch of these, throw them in your camera bag and you don't have to worry about, you know, misplacing these, uh, this hex wrench. So yeah, here's a tip for you. All right, so once you've got your camera secured on your tripod, just make sure that your locking ring is always uh, secured and so that you don't accidentally release the tab. Now, once it's locked, you are good to adjust your camera using the adjusting ring right here. So you can point it to whichever direction that you choose, left, right, up, down, whichever way that you want, just loosen it up and tighten it once you are ready to shoot. Now, if you're wondering if this travel tripod can pull weight, you'll be happy to know that this tripod right here can hold up to nine kgs worth of camera gear. Now, we are going to deploy the legs, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys how the legs are deployed. Forgive me if this is a little bit clumsy. Now right now I'm gonna give you some height dimensions. The maximum height of the tripod with the center column all the way down like this is 130.2 centimeters or 51.3 inches. The maximum height with the center column all the way up is 152.4 centimeters or 60 inches. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna list all of these details at the description box below so you can refer to them anytime during the video. Next, let's take a look at the hook right here, the one that I was showing you guys earlier. So this is a great feature to have on a tripod. In fact, all tripods, whether travel or non-travel, should come with a hook because this is a great feature to have to keep your tripod stable. And you can actually hang your backpack on it or if you have a counterweight, and it keeps your tripod a lot more stable, a lot more steady, especially if you're shooting somewhere windy. Another cool feature you get with this tripod is that you can actually invert your entire center column, allowing you to point your camera downwards and shoot from a totally different angle. So here's how you do it. First thing you need to do is remove your hook. All right, so let's just pull this down, give it a twist, and you got your hook up. Next, what you need to do is with your adjusting knob right here, just release the center column, pull it all the way up, and I've got my camera still on the center column itself, so yeah, I'm living on the edge right here. <laughs> okay, now invert your entire center column and install it back. Twist your adjusting knob and there you have it. You're shooting from a totally different angle. So it's the same thing. You can just use your adjusting ring and point it wherever you need to shoot and you have a really cool feature right here. Next, I'm gonna show you the travel tripod on low mode. Now, first thing you need to do is to stow away all the legs and please make sure that all the legs are stowed away evenly and properly before you do this. Next, we need to raise the center column a little bit. So let's just release the knob. Okay, let's raise it up. And with the leg angle adjusters, just press on the levers and pull it all the way up. That's right, so just press on the lever, pull it all the way up. And you have yourself a tripod on low mode. Now, something else that I would like to show you is that, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you'll notice a line here or a seam. You can actually shorten this entire center column by removing this top half. I'm gonna show you how. So let's just um, loosen up the adjusting ring and you should adjust it in a way where you will see a hole or an opening just at the ball head. So just adjust it in a way and twist it down. You should see a opening right here. Next, what you need to do is with your hex wrench, again, just put it inside and give it a couple of twists. 
give it a few twists to loosen it up. One, two, three, four. And, oops, not yet. Okay, one more. And there you have it, okay? So you can actually shorten your center column and you can put this aside first. Let me just get rid of this longer part. So if you're planning to do your entire shoot on low mode and you want a shorter center column, so this is an option for you. So with this part right here, you can just put it back and secure it like normal and you have a lower center column to shoot with. So now that we've seen most of the features in the travel tripod, let's pack this travel tripod back up again. And I'm going to also share with you some of the things that I actually struggled with and what I did to kind of overcome it, what I discovered that I needed to do to overcome it. All right. So first of all, let's install this back again, install the center column back again. So let's just put this back, secure it, get your hex wrench and tighten it back again with a couple of twists okay should be nice and tight all right so let's just move this ball head up and secure it okay next we adjust the now the leg adjusters right um you might struggle with it you'll be wondering how come you can't push this thing down so what you need to do is just push the tripod leg down and you should be able to just fold it down without having to to press it okay so all right so we've got all the legs down so here are a couple of things that you need to take note of before storing your travel tripod back into its bag now the first one is making sure that your legs are stowed away properly so now if any of your legs are sort of like halfway longer than one another something like this no this is a no-no so you got to make sure that all your legs are properly stowed away in order for it to fit back into the bag now the next one is the adjusting knobs and the center column so you got to make sure that you adjust your center column to make sure that it fits perfectly between the legs right here. So you notice this, um, I don't know what you call this, this um, stub right here. So you have to make sure that it's not like, you know, it's not something like, it's not sitting like that. That's not gonna work. So you gotta make sure that it fits in beautifully between the legs, all right? And then once you've secured the knot, push the knot back in. So here's one additional tip for you. If you're not using your standard plate, you can always take it out from your camera and install it back onto your tripod. You got to make sure that the screw is pushed all, is twisted all the way down so that it doesn't get in the way of the locking mechanism, right? So I was trying to push it down, but I realized why does it lock? Then I realized that the screw part was actually sticking out and in the way. So all you need to do is just flatten, basically flatten the screw, just make sure that it's completely uh, down and you can just easily snap it back on. And now you are ready to put this back into the bag. All right, so let's give it a go. No guarantees, but <laughs> I've tried this a couple of times, so I think this should be okay. All right, so see what I mean when I say it's a snug fit? So it's really, really tight, you know? So that's all you, that's all the space you get, all right? So yes, success. There you have it. Okay, so now that we have the tripod packed away nicely in its bag, here are a couple of ways that you can carry the tripod around. So because of its sleek form design, the travel tripod is just about the size of a standard water bottle. So one of the ways that you can definitely carry your travel tripod around is with a backpack. So I've got a Peak Design Everyday Backpack over here and it comes with a very nice, very spacious uh, side pocket. So you can easily fit in your travel tripod right here. So this is great for traveling or when you're moving about. Now, if you want some added security to, um, you know, holding your travel tripod in place, every backpack, everyday backpack from Peak Design comes with a nifty external strap right here for added security. So all you need to do is just put your travel tripod in and remember these openings right here on the strap. So just get your external strap, put it through 
the um, holder right here and we've got some mounting points on the backpack so just hook this up yes oh gosh and we've got a nicely secured tripod on your backpack so it's not gonna yeah it's not gonna fall out a second way you can carry around the Peak Design travel tripod is with Peak Design carry straps. So you can definitely use Peak Design's leash, slide, slide light. Um, you can just hook the anchors up on these anchor points right here. These are the anchor points. And you can snap on your straps to the anchors. And this is a great way to move around with your tripod if you're not carrying a bag around. And that concludes our video on the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering how much this tripod costs. So the carbon fiber tripod right here costs 3,199 ringgit, which is about 750 US dollars based on conversion. And the aluminum tripod costs 1,899 Malaysian ringgit, which is about 445 US dollars. Now, one last thing to take note is that you can also get accessories to match your Peak Design travel tripod. So if you're interested to get them, do check them out in the description box below. I'll list everything up and set up all the links to make it easier for you. Now, if you want to know more about the travel tripod or if you're interested to purchase other Peak Design products, be sure you head on down to www.oribags.com look for Peak Design or just hit the link in the description box below and it'll take you directly to the product page. And lastly, thank you so much guys for checking out this video and I'll see you the next time. Bye!